Okay, let's continue. Uh, question two. And uh, I really like these questions. The balance between enthalpy change and entropy change determines the feasibility of a reaction. The table below contains enthalpy formation and entropy data for some elements and compounds. Explain why the entropy value for the element nitrogen is much greater than the entropy value for the element carbon, graphite. Okay, so, let's put a pen on, let's have a look. I was reading that without underlining my keywords, which is a, a habit I like to get my students into. So we're going to have a look at, explain why entropy value, so we're looking at here, S, entropy value is greater um, for nitrogen, so here we have nitrogen 192, uh, than, uh, than the entropy value for the element carbon, graphite. 5.7 okay so and it's a two mark question the two marks in the first thing is that nitrogen uh, is a gas and carbon uh, I should really be a lot into that and carbon um, is a solid so that's your, that's your first mark and your second mark is to justify uh, your reasoning to, to explain why this affects entropy uh, because nitrogen is a gas, therefore, we could write here, therefore, uh, nitrogen is much more uh, disordered. I love entropy. It's, it's kind of a crazy idea, um, but I like it. Therefore, nitrogen is much more disordered. Let's, 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 let's that disordered here. Okay. Now, suggest a condition under which the element carbon, diamond, would have an em entropy value of zero. Now, the first time I saw this, um, I didn't actually read the diamond. Um, and I thought, oh, carbon, why, how, how, would, how would we get this entropy to zero? And one of the things I would do is is um, make it diamond, because diamond had all the bonds um, joined together and there's no sliding sheets. But it's talking about diamonds, it's already done that. And the only other way to drop entropy and actually get to zero is at absolute zero, uh, absolute zero, or, or, or um, not Kelvin, or minus 273 degrees Celsius. However, you're going to put it at zero Kelvin, um, the entropy just, just, just doesn't exist. Okay, my, my, my hard one, write the equation that shows the relationship between delta G, uh, Gibbs free energy, is equal to uh, enthalpy change, delta H, and from that, you need to take away, you need to subtract delta S. But as you can imagine, disorder is dependent on temperature. And the higher your temperature, um, the greater your disorder. Because you can just imagine, if we just look at water, for example, water at 90 degrees is a lot less disordered, a lot less entropy than once you get to 110 and it's, and it, and it's a gas. So temperature is essential to have temperature here. To be honest, I think it's such um, uh, such an important idea um, that we need to, I'm going to put it in red, T delta minus T delta S. Look, and there you have it. The equation that shows the relationship between uh, delta G, delta H, and delta S. Okay, yeah, you can have different variations of it. You can, you can however you've remembered it. I'm, I'm quite bad at it because as I get older, my, <laughs> my memory's going. But I kind of think of the ideas. Um, it kind of helps. Okay, let's switch the pen off. Let's, let, let, let's just scroll down a bit. So looking at 2D, it, it's a state, the requirement for a reaction to be feasible. And what we're looking for there is when, when we calculate delta G, it's got to be um, less than or equal to zero. Right, um, and there's me writing it very, very formally. I love, I love writing equations and formula, and don't like using words because you can see my handwriting is disgusting. So you can either do it like this: delta G is less than or equal to zero, or, or write it in words. Um, but that is question two done.